The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, folks, I, I, I lost data from 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock this morning. Just got it back about 45 minutes ago. I wanted to show you why I think it's important, why the bonds are where they are, because with the notes, excuse me, with the two-year uh, <laughs> the two-year notes going into new low ground, in other words, they hit 6.19%. This should have, the 30-year thir bond should have made new lows. It did not. It only went a little below the 78% level, which comes in at 110. Now, remember, this goes back over the last three months. Okay, now, you can see here, I just want you to follow through how the market follows the, the usual trend here. There was the last time we had a rally right over here. You can see that rally right there. It repeated itself right here. Okay, and it repeated itself right here. This is the third time that it's repeated. So this usually means that we're probably getting ready to rally. The fact that this couldn't go down and make new lows with the two-year note going to 6.19%, that should have been enough to scare anybody. And that's why the stock market was hit so badly at the very beginning and then came back like a rocket ship. You know, that's, that's really what you were looking at. The S&P this morning, uh, well, we'll do the S&P in just a minute, but we'll we'll – uh, well, don't get around too much because I want to look at the 10-year note. I haven't been able to see that this morning because of lack of data. And let's just get that 10-year note up here. And there it is right now. We'll just get up here and see if we've made new lows. Oh, see, the 10-year note did make new lows. Ha, ha, ha. Let's double check. There's the weekly. So let's get down here to the daily. That could be a very interesting one here. There's a note. The notes didn't make a new low either. You see this? We did not make new lows, and we should have with the 10-year note doing what it did. And look, we made that long-term price objective, so we're in the ballpark. But we're not very far from making new lows now. You see, you're only six pips away from making a new low, and that, that is not a very good thing to uh, pay attention to. Okay? All right, now let's move on here, and we're going to jump around here just a little bit to show you some of these patterns that we look at here each day whether they mean much or not during the day. Some, sometimes they work better than they do. But uh, let's take a look here at the E-mini here, S&P. There's where we are. This is what we've done so far since the bottom was made. I want to get this up here. There's your ABCD pattern measured up here to 44, uh, 2275. The high was uh, 4223. Uh, and now we're down a little bit from that level. But if we go down to a uh, to say a smaller time frame, you're going to see that today's low, look at today's low, folks, right there, almost exactly at the 61% retracement, and the market just took off like a stripe of deer, and that's exactly what it's done. Actually, it didn't do too much different than what we usually expect, and there's your ABCD pattern right here, and that one also measures to, uh, well, that measured to uh, 44.25. I measured it on this smaller one because I happen to be following it after it took off so strongly. So uh, that's what we're watching here uh, in the E-mini uh, S&P. Now, okay, now let's move over to a couple things that we talked about yesterday that I think are important. This is this crude oil. If you remember here in the crude oil, let's get this up here. So if, if your memory serves you correctly, I think you'll be okay. By the way, those of you that pray, please do something for me special, okay? I got a really good friend that is in the hospital and the doctor doesn't think he's got much time left. And of course, doctors are wrong occasionally, but please say some prayers for my friend, okay? Uh, he is a wonderful person, a great man, and uh, God, he's gonna be missed if something happens to him. Anyway, this is what we were looking at yesterday. Remember, we were looking for this 382 to be hit. Now this missed the 382 by six pips, folks, $60, and from there, it ran $1,500 up and hit the exact 61% retracement, which we suggested that if that was going to happen, let's just blow it up so we can see it just a little bit better here, here in the realms of things. Because there is a, there's the, the, 
the, the market comes up to the 382, 382, then it backs off. And then what does it do? Yes, Johnny. Yes, Johnny. We see it makes an A, B, C, D right up here to the exact 61% retracement. Now, if you shaded it by uh, five or six pips, you probably would have gotten filled. But if you didn't, then you probably wouldn't have gotten filled. But when you got to that level right here, and then you made the, the number down here, look what happened. You make an A, B, C, D again, and there it comes down right to this level. Now, it missed the A, B, C, D by just a hair. Let's see how much it missed it by. And I will be happy to draw that in for you. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. And it misses it by ooh, misses it by more than a hair. It misses it by uh, two billy goats and a, and a donkey. Uh, it, needs 60, it misses by 36 pips, so it misses it by $360. And now we're having to rally back. Now, this is why... This is why you've got to keep following through on these things, because if you've made a new low here, okay, now you're in a downtrend, you see? So this 382, if it comes in, would be very, very important. So we're going to measure it from the high down to your low, and it comes in right there. We just hit it just a little while ago at uh, 86.62, misses it by one tick. So keep an eye on that, because if it gets there, and remember, this has taken several hours to make this, so it's a valid, uh, it's a valid rally. There's no question about it. It's a very substantial rally. So that's what we're watching as we break these down intraday to see how these things are uh, moving around. Okay, now another one that we were watching, I'm going to switch again because we've got too much to cover here today. No guess. So here is that natural gas. If you remember, we said pay close attention to the natural gas because we got a chance, if we go back here to the last low, which was way back here, is to make that 382 retracement that comes in right about here at 05. And if we roll it from the high down to the low, you'll see we hit it once. Okay, then we rallied a little bit and came back and hit it again. The low here was uh, three. So this is telling you that this is pretty much a pretty good valid signal in here. So I was looking to be a buyer here at 305. It's a 306.70 right now. The good part about this is you only have to risk three bucks. It gets below three. You don't want to have anything to do with it. So that's a, that's a good part of looking at it. The trend is certainly uh, in an uptrend. Okay, this looks just like that S&P chart we just looked at have the big move and then the pullback. So that's what I'm watching here uh, in the natural gas. Now, these are the ones we looked at yesterday because I think it's important that we review these that work and the reviews that one that don't work. Now, let's see one here that actually did work. And uh, first I've got to do is to get the uh, things straightened out here. This is the gold market. This is one we sent out last night. We said to be a seller up here at uh, 1941. That was your ABCD. You had to risk $8. Uh, the market broke down 1000 bucks. Then made us look at this. Look, my goodness, you talk about good volatility. Holy cow. Then it comes all the way down. It dropped 1000 bucks. okay? And then it rallied up and then came down and went right back up. And look what it did, folks. Yes, Johnny, we all see it. It's nothing more than our old friend AB equals CD up there at uh, 43, 1943 with the high 1944. Now it looks like we're heading down. We're going to take a little break here, folks. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I, what I've done here is I put up the my, uh, my what I call my portfolio page of what I'm watching for today with gold, E-mini S&P, Treasury bonds, euro, and then uh, natural gas, crude oil, the Dow Jones, E-mini. Sometimes I'm in, I change that back. And also the NASDAQ. I did not uh, put up uh, the, the, uh, the soybean thing, but we're going to take a look at soybeans right now. If you remember, we were trying to, uh, we had a real nice pattern setting up in, treasury, in soybeans and November beans. Get these up here. There they are right here. And we'll just do a 30 minute and see where we are. Well, it looks like it did something right. There you go. Here's what we were watching for. And uh, as you can see, we had the big run up and we said, watch for the uh, ABCD. Uh, that came in uh, yesterday. Uh, actually, it actually came in on Friday. There's your uh, ABCD pattern right here. You have the nice little pullback uh, right in this area right here. That was a very small, very small Gartley. Let's just blow it up so we can see it a little better. And if we draw that in from your high up to your low and then back here, oops, get this down here. Oh, shucks, let me get this thing. See how close it was to the exact 618 anyway. And uh, oh my goodness, look, it hit it exactly at 1279. Uh, and we went all the way up to uh, 13 bucks. So that's, that's been acting, uh, you know, relatively well. So that's the one that we were watching closely yesterday. Uh, did have some uh, action. Now, these are ones that I try to send out in the uh, in the videos that I send out each day, folks. So, see, what, what, I, what I do here, folks, is I look at basically, you know, the ABCD is a structure that I look at. Then I've got a little bit of Fibonacci numbers in here that I look at, okay? That's my second, my second line of defense. So, the whole thing that I have, that the only advantage that I have, the only advantage that I have is belief in the system that I'm dealing with, which is A, B, C, D, and a little bit of Fibonacci. Folks, I've not found anything too much diff better than this. It certainly beats most of the oscillator programs I've ever seen. My, do I miss a lot? Yes. Do I have losses? Absolutely. Do I have a string of losses? Absolutely. But I also have strings of profits. So that's all I, I, I believe in this system because I know that it works. Is it easy to understand? Yeah, if you'll spend some time learning it. But the problem is most people are a little bit lazy and they don't, they're, they're not interested uh, in learning that. So 
All I want to do now is just to take a quick look here, what's happening to soybeans here, because we had this movement, and we should have an A, B, C, D move take us up to this level right here. There's where we should get to. There's your A, B leg, C, D leg right there. That should take us up another 17 cents higher from where we are right now. But because we didn't get any higher than that, and we've sold off just a tiny bit, I want to see if this was something very important. The only way I can see that is to go down to the hourly chart. So I pick it up, and by golly, it's not much there. You can see it still looks like we looks like we want to go higher, okay? So that's what it looks like to me. We're still headed higher. Now we're going to move it up a little bit more and send it back here so we get another piece of data right in here. So now we can go back for the last several weeks, going back into uh, late September, and we can see if this number right here, because this was a big ABCD, is important to this. Now, just looking at this tells me it's probably exactly at the 78% level. And look at that. There's the high. Folks, I didn't do this ahead of time. I just did this. There's your 78% level right here, 1302. That's a 78% of that move right here. So that's uh, what I'd be watching very, very close. I didn't sell short there. In fact, I didn't even buy them down here. I was busy doing something else, and then today I had no data for two hours, which wouldn't have any effect on this. But that's uh, that's neither here nor there. The one I did w was able to do was the Treasury bonds, and unfortunately, I was the one that put the stop in here at the six hundred dollar level and uh, and got out of it. But fortunately, I had a couple other things. The gold was working good, and the crude oil was working very good. So all of those were making it nice to. Uh, you know, to have a little bit of money in the pocket today for as what we're watching here. So that's what I'm watching right here uh, in this. Now, I really think that this is a major bottom because if you remember looking at this on the daily, we talked about this before, this is a major bottom in here. All we did was make the 78% level of this number right here. That's just what we've done. Okay, it's taken three, four days to do it. So watch the pullback. We're going to get a little pullback most probably in here unless we go popping above 1303, and then we'll probably uh, keep going. But right now, that's what it's looking like here uh, in the soybean. So those are ones that I'm looking at. Now, let's switch over gears here a little bit, and uh, let's take a look at this E-mini S&P because we've now come down 17 handles from the high. The first thing I would be watching here, let's get this up on a really sh shorter time frame so we can see it really clearly there it is right there you see the last correction that we had here was only uh, you know it was only what 10 cents uh, 8 cents and it wasn't even a 382 but it was an ABCD because of the time you see this is took a half an hour 10 bars to make that little retracement here that made the ABCD that's validated that so what we have to do now Yes, Johnny, I know we have to look at what the 382 is going to be of this whole range of the day. Because if we start breaking below that 382, which is at 4,400 even, we're at 4,406. If we start getting below here, uh-oh, then there's a possibility of trouble in River City. But if we don't, then that means we've got a chance here. This could be a pretty significant bottom. Now, looking at a micro mini trade, and I don't like micro minis. This is a, just a three minute, but you can see we've had a small ABCD pattern forming right now. In fact, it's in the process of coming in right here at 4403. The three, we're going to call this 4401 is the 382. So, folks, you just put your circle around this right here because we start going below here. Be careful because, uh, you know, we're going to be probably going to go down a whole lot. But there's your ABCD coming in between. Well, we're almost there. We're at 4403 and then a little bit low this. Then it will tell us that, uh oh, maybe this is not moving. Now, this is what I'm doing when I'm micromanaging this, folks. See, this is a contract that's worth $200,000 and I can trade it for $300, you know, six cents. You know, that that's that's what risk risk reward is, you know, that. That you you got a really good risk and a heck of a good reward if it happens to be right, but you don't know which ones are going to be right. Well, I know, but I can't tell everybody because in no, that's a joke. But I, nobody knows that. I mean, you just all you're trying to do is put the odds in your favor. Okay, that's really what you're trying to do here. So that's mainly what we're watching here uh, with that particular one uh, right now. We're going to get back to these currencies here in just a moment but what I what I'm watching here is I'm watching these Treasury bonds because I think they've got a chance and I'm watching to see if I can get another chance to buy them back here 
at a very reasonable price. You see the 382 did not hold here with the bond, so that tells me they're probably going to take another gander at 109.31. And remember, the Treasury notes almost made new lows. So with that 6.1% handle in the 2% in the two-year note, oh, that you talk about being scared, running scared and loving it. That's what you got to be having to do when you're trading is have your stop in and making sure that you protect yourself on the downside at all times. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <clears throat> okay, folks, I've had a quick couple questions about the euro. This is the hourly chart of the euro. Okay, we talked about. Uh oh, we've got uh, someone's at the front door. Just a minute, see who's calling in here. And we've got Mike from uh, Niagara Falls, uh, New York. Uh, Mike, uh, what can I do for you, my friend? Hi, thanks for taking my call there, Larry. Uh, good to hear your voice. <laughs> What's um, left of it? <laughs> normally don't post this uh, on your show, but I'd like you to take a look at the VIX. It's an appropriate time, I think, to put on uh, protection. And I'd like you to post the daily versus the weekly chart, please. 
Uh, you know what, my friend? I don't even know if I still have that on here. Let me. What's the symbol? Uh, Do you remember? It's a VX something or what? VIX. VIX. Maybe I've got it. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, yeah, UV. Nope, I don't have it. But I'll. You know, I don't know if that's the right one in this thing or not. But I'll let me try it. Uh -huh. VIX. Hold on one second. VIX. And what happens when you get, type in volatility? Uh, well, that I don't know. We're going to try if that's it. Let's see if that's anything. No, it's wrong. I don't have that, Mike. I'm sorry, but I yeah. just don't have the VIX. I, you know, I look at it occasionally, but I don't trade it, so it's not involved okay. in it. But I do believe protection is warranted in here because of the okay. fact that we're we're over something very, <clears throat> very sinister just by looking at what's happening to Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. Because uh -huh. what, what could happen, Mike? You could come in some morning and you'd say, oh, why didn't I take protection? Do you know what I mean? In other words, the yeah. cat's out yeah. of the bag. And, uh, you know, like rockets, red glare coming over from Iran, something like that, or Russia, some crazy thing, you know, North Korea, Black it could course. be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. But do, I, I do, recommend do you see them. that? Do you actually uh, look at no. a black swan scenario? Because, you know, no. you look at no. this year's chart, okay, and it's, <laughs> it's an exact replay of 1987. It's close. Not, not, not quite like 1987. Because the, the, the top in 87 was made in August, okay? And then the secondary high came in October. This thing, this thing topped a year and a half ago, back in, you know, J January of 2022. Here we are, you know, October of 2023. So that chart pattern is not the same. It has, the, it has characteristics of, you know, smaller rallies all the time like we had during that time. But other than that, I don't see any, any relationship uh, to that at all, I I, I really don't see I, that. I, I, I bicker to I, I bicker with you on that because in October well, '87, um, mm -hmm. they had uh, like a weekend uh, war with Iraq. Okay, and Iran Iraq war uh, versus all the Americans got involved, and there were missiles being fired, and uh, um, base that caused uh, the October cra that triggered it. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That October crash of 1987 was triggered by Secretary of Treasury Baker when he came out of a meeting in, in Japan where he said, we just can't make an agreement with these folks. And boom, that was it. Uh, it the game was out and the dollar uh, took off like a rocket. Gold was up the limit. And uh -huh. you saw what we dropped. We were 300 lower uh, in the Dow Jones, which was uh, mm -hmm. a huge amount, being down 500 on the yeah. day. No, there was there was no war at that time. No, that was related to Secretary Baker, uh, because I remember he called me about 20 minutes before he got on the line to tell me to get short. That's a joke, Mike. So, I <laughs> <laughs> but he called Mark Douglas for 25 minutes, right? Five minutes probably so, you. probably so. Anyway, that that's what we're looking at that's here. Okay, joke. buddy. All right. Thanks for calling in, Mike. I appreciate it. Oh, by the way, Mike, how is your new president over there in uh, Poland, Mr. Tusk? Is he a pretty good guy? Oh, he's already hung up. Sorry, we missed that. Let's get up here, see if we've got uh, – okay, okay, there we go. All right, we'll get back up here talk a little bit. Yeah, let's get back to this uh, euro, the question someone had, and that is, you know, when you look at this chart – how do you find the ABCD? You've got to go what really happened in the market, folks. So here's what you look at. So you had the bottom right here. Then the market rally up had this big sell-off. You see that? So that's your first. There's your A, B, C, D. That's your first one right here. So there's your first A, B, C, D. There's your A, B leg. There's your C, D leg. That tells you you should get up into this area right here. But then you have another one. You see you make a higher high. And then you make a higher low. So you've got to count that ABCD. So you go to that one. There's your low. There's your high. And where does that do? That takes you up to an area. We missed it by just, well, missed it by more than we thought. There was your 61% retracement. So we didn't get it. And then there's others. You can see the other ABCDs as we start moving higher. I just want to draw them in because, remember, this is an hourly chart. So this can take a whole day sometimes to form these. So there's another ABCD pattern. Uh, right there, and then we have another ABCD pattern right behind it, right here, and that takes us up to pretty close where we're supposed to be. We come within about 10 pips of where the high was, and look, look where we are now, folks. We had a nice little move down. Let's just move this over. You can see where we went because our, our retracement, we're going to get these out so you can see mathematics and geometry and the whole nine yards. There's your low. There's your high. 
We went a little below the 618, not unusual, but how did we do it? A really nice A, B, C, D pattern right here, and then the market rallied back up. And where did it go to? It went right up to guess what? A little above the 618 retracement, but here again, look what it did. Just like it did here, A, B, C, D. Remember, this took almost a whole day, folks. Yes, yeah, so you're talking, these are hourly, so that took 12 hours. This one took a little bit more than that. What did it do? It did nothing more. Just blow it up so we can see it nice and clear. A, B, C, D. There's your 61% retracement, and that's what you're doing is when you're trying to figure out what the lost or, you know, what these swings are going to be. Now, on this particular one, I would have been selling here at this, which I was, at this uh, 105, uh, 83 level. And because, you know, I don't know if this is going to stop or whatever. I don't know that. But all I have to do is put my stop above here. So my stop here is 20, 20, uh, 25 pips, which is $250. And now I know where exactly where I am. My stop is above here now. So that that's what I'm doing is I'm watching these things and watching. Because when you see these big swings that you have sometimes, you've got to go in and break them down to see what the ABCD is. But always remember you're focusing on those numbers that we deal with, 618. 786, those are contracting numbers. 1.27, 1.618 are expanding numbers. That's what we're paying uh, close attention to. And you notice here what we did here in the old stop and P, we were just talking about it. Look what happened, folks. Trouble in River City. You see how we quickly went through that? That tells you there's something wrong here, so be really careful. What I would do now, what I would do now, and what I will do, look at the gold coming down. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. We like to see that. Okay, there's where we're, here's where we are right now is we're taking a look at this. We went below our number right here. We broke below the 382 by quite a bit. We've come down more than 25 handles already, so... Just by some stretch of the imagination, if you get a 382 rally here, which would take you back to the 07 level, pay attention to that one because that's going to be a possible spot where you might be able to get short, okay, and put your stop, you know, right above this. You got to risk. There's no way you can trade the S&P for less than 10, 12 points now, folks, because this is a $220,000 contract. So, I mean, to, to me, to move, uh, you know, 500 bucks is, uh, is a heartbeat. Well, look at this. We, we, there is a heartbeat right there. 500 bucks just right there in just a matter of uh, 12 minutes. So let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. up the chart of nvidia folks believe me uh I, this is the first time i've looked at an nvidia chart in three weeks or so uh, and i'm really good uh in in retrospect of how to look at things okay but i wanted to show you this particular pattern there's your nvidia you can see the three high there's your drive one there's your drive two there's your drive three we looked at the high to high high to high that was correct that gave you the high now look you came down you dropped a hundred dollars but I want you to look at this closely here, folks, because if you were just looking at this and not paying close attention and not looking at all the patterns, we're just going to get rid of everything. OK, we're going to get it like this, and just like this and look at it, because what you're seeing here is an absolute 100 percent textbook of a head and shoulders pattern. There's your left shoulder. There's your head. There's your right shoulder. If you go and draw your numbers down like this, you're going to see that the right shoulder is going to be equal. There's your right shoulder. This one's a little bit lower, which you'd like to see. You can see the time between the high and the low and the high right here. Absolute perfect here, head and shoulders pattern. And then if you looked at this even closer, and just remember, I'm doing this <laughs> because I've already seen what's happened. And I don't trade stocks anyway. But this is no difference whether it was pork bellies, which don't trade anymore. But there's your ABCD right there, okay? That's your that's your right shoulder, okay? Now look what happened today, folks. Look at our low today was here at 1725. This is why the Nasdaq probably took off like a stripe of deer. I'll bet you it went right to the 78 percent level. Let's just double check. Look at that, right on the money. For for do you think these guys at the what do you call these algorithmic dudes don't understand this stuff? Look at that, 424, right on the money. We've had a nice rally. We we'll go down to a smaller time frame, and we're going to see. We're rallied too. So there's our rally so far. All right. Now, all we're going to do now is we're going to go back and look at the high that we made back here at 478. And we're going to see what that was from the high down to the low. There, the 382 comes in here at, uh, at 445. And the high has been a 448. We're trading at 440 right now. So that's what I'm looking at when I'm watching these numbers and stuff like that. Now, I've asked been asked oh here we we're down here here's the moment of truth folks where the where the uh, where the the bend, the bonds are going to play uh play house or not be nice so we're right at the 61 percent retracement here in the bonds at 109 uh, we just hit 110 so uh if you're if you're looking to buy them like i did at 110 i'm not going to risk more than seven ticks on this that's 210 dollars that's on a contract that's worth 100,000, 110,000, okay? So I'm risking very, very small amount. I tr remember I tried it here. Where did I try it? I tried it right here and I lost on that one. And now I'm going to try it again to see if it's going to work right here. So I just got filled right there. There's 110. That's it. So my stop is going to be right here. And uh, we'll keep the old beeper in. So if we get hit, We'll just move it down just a little bit lower. Oh, it's got to get down to right. Oh, that's at the right spot. Huh. Got to stop. It's got to be right below the 786. You can't beat that. That's what you like. This is like a broken drum trade. A broken drum trade, folks. It's like a broken drum. 
You can't beat it. You're buying here at 110, and your stop is at uh, 109.24. Seven tick rally, uh, seven tick, uh, uh, what do you call it, risk, and that's what you're uh, paying close attention to uh, here uh, today. All right, now let's move on to some other stock that someone just asked me about just a little while ago. Get this up here. That's going to be Goldman, you know, whatever. Hold on one second. Here's Goldman Sachs. And we'll bring it up here. We'll take a quick look. It's been under a great deal of pressure and because uh, they've had a lot of trouble with earnings and everything else. You can see this is a really weak stock, folks. Look at this. The rest of the market rallies like crazy. This can't even make a 382 retracement, and it's taken 10 days to do it. This is not a good sign uh, for Goldman Sachs. As a matter of fact, watch this one closely, because if by some stretch of the imagination you get a nice little – a, B, C, D, up to you know what. There's your uh, 382 right here. 19, 319, 321 is the number. So watch that. That that tells you that this is not a very, very good stock right now. I'm long term. It's probably great. But I'm just looking at a short term time frame here. It looks like it's got some problems. Okay. That's the main thing that you want to keep alive. Everybody keeps asking me about Tesla. I know very little about it. I talk to Elon all the time. You know, he checks with me uh, on some of the ideas that I have for SpaceX and artificial intelligence. I'm his, I'm his go-to guy. Most of you folks don't know that, but uh, that's my medication kicking in. Let's get up here and we'll take a look at Tesla. Starts with a K or a T? A T, Q R S T. Tesla, there it is right here. Hold on right here. It's amazing what, oh, see, it's actually holding up relatively good here, folks. Here's Tesla. Today, we're holding up relatively well. Uh, it's up on the day. Uh, the last little pullback, let's just go down to an hourly chart so we can see where we are. There's our pullback. Stopped right at the 61% retracement today. It's what you'd like to see it do. And as long as we can stay above that number right there, looks pretty good. That's at 247, so it's six bucks above that acting pretty good the only negative to this today is the fact that the rally back went just a tiny bit above the 382 which means it's still it's still not out of the woods yet there's your 382 right here at 256 you want to see it close above 258 that's what you'd like to see it uh see it to do so remember this is an hourly chart but if you look at the abcd is going through that same sequence that we just did for those of you that are new to abcd just want to walk you through it there's your first abcd is right here there's a b c d there's your first one then you got another one right here a b c d right there there's another one right there and then you start the sequence down and uh, we stopped right where we should have folks major this is off the low from september 22nd uh, 27th if we go below that uh oh not good not good so keep that in mind very very important okay uh from a standpoint of pattern recognition swing trading it's important and finally we had one other stock that people are asking me about which is walmart i think that's w uh no that's walgreens wmt i believe is walmart isn't it yeah here's walmart right here this has been a pretty good stock and it's still looking good looking good billy ray feeling good look at this uh, there's where we had a low here just the other day here, and look at the rally back here. We're having a really – oh, be careful here. Uh-oh, be careful, boys and girls. Let's look at this one. This We've got to take some time. Let's get rid of everything because we want to be watching. Delete it all. Okay, here's our left shoulder. There's our right shoulder, right? Remember, this is a daily, so pay attention to this. We want to see – just draw our line across the top here because if it's at the same price – or lower, that's where we are. There it is right there. Haven't taken out the previous day's high yet. So looking at this, we're above, a little above the 618, but we have a head and shoulders pattern here, folks. It is flat, a head and shoulders. There's your left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So that's uh, where we are. We get above 163, it's on its way. But if, unless we get above that, you know, we're, it looks like we're getting ready to uh, back off here. Uh, in this, this is a very, very, see your left shoulder and your right shoulder, your right shoulder should be lower than your left shoulder. That was a formula out of Andrew Lowe's book, you know, uh, non-random walk down Wall Street and, you, and the distance between your high, excuse me, your left shoulder and the high and the right shoulder should be very similar, which you can see they are. So that's what we're looking at. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and stay with us for the wrap up. 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we've got a request from George in Massachusetts to run over the gold. This is just a 13-minute. This is where we were on Sunday night when we hit uh, 1946. Remember, we said look for the 382 retracement. There it is right there. That was a 382 off of this low right here. Let's just draw that in, and you'll be able to see it was pretty much absolutely spot on right there at 21. Then we made the ABCD here today. There's the ABCD. Whoa. There's your A, B, C, D. There's your small A, B, C, D right in here. The high was 44. The number was 41. We're now trading at 32. So what we want to be watching for now, if this is correct, and if this is correct, we should be looking for a really nice A, B, C, D pattern here, either today, tomorrow, or the next day, maybe based on something like uh, – Peace is in the Middle East or something like that. Well, I don't know. I'm just making that up. I don't know. What do I know? Anyway, 1918, folks. Here's the World War I started. No, that was the second year. Anyway, that's the price objective on this would be 1918, taking out the 382. Maybe it makes a double bottom down here. I don't know, but that would be what I would be looking at. If you sold it there at 41, your stop now would be at break even. You don't want to risk any any uh, any nine dollar rally here after you've made eight dollars you know that's a uh, really smart thinking i would think anyway so that's what i'd be watching here in the gold 
Remember, looking at this on the long-term weekly, folks, uh, we've had that big run-up. Okay, there was our 50% retracement right here. We already talked about it in the video. So watch this pullback. This is going to be 1918. This is the number you want to be watching is 1918. It's going to be the first ABCD swing uh, on the downside. That's where it'll be is right down there at 1918. So that's what we're looking at here from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and keep those rosary beads working today, folks. We need lots of prayers over here. May God bless. Building 